Simple and effective plots can be used to check each of the assumptions in a multiple regression model. This video reviews a range of such tools covered in Open Intro Statistics discussion of checking model assumptions using graphs. We will begin by reviewing the key assumptions in multiple regression, and then we'll see a few examples of diagnostic plots in action. Throughout this video, we will focus on a multivariate model for the auction price of a video game. This multivariate model uses the Mario Kart dataset that also appears in the Introduction to Multiple Regression and Model Selection videos for Open Intro Statistics. Here we are using the reduced model, which only includes statistically significant predictors of auction price. Notice we are writing the estimated price as a linear function of the various predictors. Multiple regression models generally depend on four assumptions. We require that the residuals of the model are nearly normal, that the variability of the residuals is nearly constant, that the residuals are independent, and that each variable is linearly related to the outcome. We can evaluate the first assumption, that the residuals of the model are nearly normal, within the context of the Mario Kart example using a normal probability plot of the residuals. While the plot for the Mario Kart residuals exhibits some minor irregularities from a straight line, there are no outliers that might be cause for concern. In a normal probability plot for residuals, we tend to be most worried about residuals that appear to be outliers, since these indicate long tails in the distribution of the residuals. Here we are using a plot of the absolute value of the residuals against their corresponding fitted values to investigate whether the variability of the residuals is nearly constant. We don't see any obvious deviations from constant variance in this example. To investigate whether the residuals are independent, we created a plot of the residuals in the order that their corresponding options were observed. This plot is helpful in identifying any patterns between cases that are close to one another in time. Since consecutive points do not appear to be related in this figure, we see no structure that would indicate a problem. Lastly, we will use a plot of the residuals against each predictor variable to investigate whether each variable is linearly related to the outcome. For a categorical variable, such as the condition of the game, we will never be able to assess remaining trend, and instead we are checking that the variability doesn't fluctuate across groups. The variability in this example appears to be stable. Turning our attention to the residuals against the wheels variable, we see some possible structure. There appears to be curvature in the residuals, indicating the relationship is probably not linear. In this video, we were introduced to the assumption of multiple regression and a few diagnostic plots that can be helpful in checking those assumptions. If you learned something you found interesting, share this video with a friend and visit openintro.org for more resources.